Welcome back to another episode of the A to Z English podcast. This is a bonus episode. We call them Jack Chats. This is a chance for me to talk with you and read your, your emails and also read chats from our WhatsApp group that you can find on our website. If you want to join the WhatsApp group, go to a to z English podcast.com and click the link to our WhatsApp group and you can join the world English group and you can join the A to Z English podcast group. And those are very active groups where students can talk to each other and we can communicate from all different parts of the globe all around the world. So it's a very it's an exciting uh, chat group to be a part of, and everyone is invited. So feel free to to join. Today, I'm actually going to go into the WhatsApp group chats and read some of read some of the comments in there and make some comments myself regarding those those chats. And I've I've done a lot of listener emails, and I've done a couple of articles and just some thoughts um, episodes in in the past week or so. But today is dedicated solely to our WhatsApp group and WhatsApp chats. So I'm going to start with Shaima. Shaima is from Egypt, I believe, and she is giving some examples for of. Our, it from our idioms episode and so she writes last week there was a misunderstanding between me and my friend so i preferred to nip it in the bud therefore i visited her and explained the situation clearly i thought this would solve the problem but i was barking up the wrong tree she couldn't understand me correctly um great this is a uh, nice uh nicely written very nicely written and uh i would say the nip it in the bud part idiom is perfectly correct here um if you if you have a disagreement with a friend if you nip it in the bud that means that you deal with the situation quickly and move past your disagreement right if you wait then the feelings of anger or resentment or frustration or annoyance, the more time that passes and you don't talk about it, the bigger the feeling gets, right? And so, you know, there are friendships that are broken because the two people didn't nip the problem in the bud. And if you just nip it in the bud, while it's while it's fresh, while it's still a small disagreement, then you can get over it. But if you if you don't, and it just builds and builds and builds pressure, and then boom, it explodes. So yeah, I mean, I think we've all had situations where we, you know, didn't nip it in the bud, or we did. But it's good, you know, and the the idiom works for other situations too. It's not just like friendships. It could be like, um, for example, if you you feel like you're getting sick, you're you, you're getting a cold. Um, go to the doctor and nip it in the bud, right? Like deal with it right now while you while it's not serious. But if you wait, you might your health might you know the it might get worse and worse and worse and then you get then you're really sick and then you have to go to the doctor and why why wait until you're really really sick just nip it in the bud and go to the doctor right away okay so that i mean there's another example where we can use nip it in the bud um the second example i think barking up the wrong tree this idiom is I used I used the example for this idiom of like a detective. A detective follows tries to solve a, a crime, right? And is trying to follow clues. So for example, if a detective thinks, you know, this person is the criminal, 
but that person is innocent they 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 didn't do it then you could say oh the detective is barking up the wrong tree because they're following the wrong the wrong path that person did not commit the crime they didn't steal the money it was another person so you're barking up the wrong tree by going following the wrong uh following the wrong clue or accusing the wrong person of doing something wrong you know um i'll, I'll give you another example um this one i'm i'm trying to think of like a a good example would be like um if you if there's like in the morning you um you go outside of your house and somebody threw the garbage on your on your lawn on your on your uh in your yard and you go to your neighbor's house and you say why did you throw garbage on my lawn your neighbor could say hey you're barking up the wrong tree it's not me i didn't do it and that's that's what barking up the wrong tree means so i think in in uh your in uh this example that we have here it's it's um it could be it, it could be possible um in that you know if your friend is like you know we don't have a problem or something then you could be barking up the wrong tree but I, usually it, it's like some like the examples i gave is it's more like um you're accusing somebody of doing something and they didn't do it you're barking up the wrong tree this i i'm innocent you you're looking for the wrong person um all right thank you so much Shima. i appreciate your participation and always you send such wonderful messages um okay let me see here i'm just scrolling through i've got some good ones let me see here oh i just want to say uh hello and welcome to uh jose jose is from el salvador Welcome to the group, Jose. It's great to have you here. And I wanted to read this one. This one is really uh, funny. This is from Anna, Anna from Costa Rica. I, in my, in, in a, in one of my Jack chats, I talked about, oh no, sorry. In, in one of our A to Z English podcast episodes called uh, good and bad bosses, we talked about, I talked about being a gopher is was a name for when you're like an intern or a production assistant in the entertainment industry they call you gopher go for this go for that go for this go for that go get the coffee go get the box go get the package go get the coffee you know go get the lunch and so you go for everything um in in spanish there is a a, a, a very similar kind of expression and it says, and I'll read what Anna wrote here. We say here, I'm Zoila. Yo soy Zoila. Zoila, Zoila que limpia. Zoila que cocina. Zoila que lava la ropa. And so on. Um, so it's in the translation would be like, um, do the laundry, do the cleaning, do the dishes, do the cooking. And so on. And so soy la is like do the, you know, cooking, do this, do that. And so the, the name is Azoila, Azoila. So um, she writes, it might not make sense, but I think it is similar to gopher. It's very similar to gopher. I mean, it's the same idea. And I think uh, I wrote back to Anna saying that I in when I was young working in, in Los Angeles, I was a Zoila, for sure. Uh, go do this, do that. Go get this, go get that. Um, yeah, it, that's uh, exactly exactly the same thing as a gopher. Um, thanks for sharing that. I, I, I had never heard that before. So it's always fun to learn new expressions. Uh, we I just learned a new expression in, uh, in Arabic. I believe uh, Layla says that in Arabic, uh, in they, instead of saying stuck between a rock and a hard place, 
they say stuck between two fires. So that's really fascinating that how we just the same ideas keep popping up in but they're expressed in a slightly different ways in each language and i i guess just as a person who you know my uh my educational background is in uh ed, in second language acquisition theory and and stuff like that and so when it comes to languages i'm always really fascinated and interested in 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 languages even though i only speak one language i i find it fascinating when i hear these stories of of uh the meanings and expressions and idioms in in other languages so thank you for sharing that that was really really fun for me to to learn about um all right so i've got an uh, a message from selma and she's writing in response to social's bad experience with her uh sexist boss and and uh we we never really talked about uh the meaning of the word sexism and sexism or to be sexist is to treat the opposite gender like they're in a lower position than than you so generally speaking it's you know it's uh it's men treating women like they're lower that they're not as good as men and so that people with that attitude we would call that that person sexist oh you're you're being sexist why are you treating the women this way and you're treating the men a different way why are you why are you doing that um and then that's the idea of, of sexism is treating, you know, treating the other gender as, you know, you know, treating women as, as, as if they're, you know, not as, as good as men. So that, that was the, that's the, uh, the premise for, uh, for that, uh, for, for the, for social story. Um, so, Selma writes, social experience is sad because as a woman, we don't have to live that like that. And it's inadmissible that a man can have this type of speech. My worst experience was in my previous job. My boss was very crazy. If I have the power to do what I want, I will take an appointment to him with a psychologist or psychiatrist because I am sure he has some mental problems to resolve. So when he proposed me to stay after my first contract and sign a second contract, I said, no, thanks. And I left the company. Ah, oh, yeah, that's really, I'm, it's so true what Kevin said in that episode, that a, a bad boss can really can destroy a good job. And the opposite is true. A bad job, not, not, not I, I don't like to, you to call some jobs bad or good, but you know, when Kevin was working in a fast food restaurant, I, I think he probably wanted to do other work, but that was, he was young and that was the job that he could get. So even though it was a quote unquote, a bad job, the boss was really good. And so he, it actually made his experience working there kind of enjoyable and fun. And so it really does prove that the power of the, you know, having good managers, having good bosses is really, really important for your happiness at your job. And it's really, I mean, it's fascinating to think about because it's, you know, just one person can destroy a whole work atmosphere. And one person can make the whole thing good. And so it's, it's, it's just a very, yeah, it, it's a, it's a, it's a very interesting thing. And, and kind of, uh, you, you know, you're, it's a gamble whenever you get a job, because you don't know if the boss is going to be good. That's why you have to kind of talk to other people that work there first if you can try to try to determine if the the boss is uh 
you know, if the boss is, uh, is, is any good. Um, okay. And I think that concludes today's WhatsApp chat. I think I'll, I'll stop there for now and, uh, we will, I'll pick it up uh, next time with some more listener emails. So please send your emails to, please, please send us your emails uh, to a to Z English podcast at gmail.com. That is a to Z English podcast at gmail.com. And I would love to hear from you. If you, if you're not uh, able to send an email, but you can send a chat, then just send a chat or a voice note. Those are great too. And I'll get, I'll get back to the WhatsApp group and make another Jack chat for our WhatsApp group. But for today, I will say goodbye. Thanks, everybody. I appreciate it. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.